I feel like every time we face Rogue now, we want to win, just because we had such a bad view of Hive against them. I still could feel the pressure that you had. That is it! That is it done! Rogue, it could not be more poetic. Larson overcoming his demons and removing Reckless from the equation with that shockwave. It's Rogue all the way. It was for sure something really crazy that we just actually played our best and we showed that we can easily beat them. Rogue have never been able to beat G2 in the regular season. And definitely Rogue like to play well, but like you can catch them off guard and then they kind of get lost as well and they kind of lose like a bit of their own cool. I think if you can get them away from their own game, which they're, they're really good at, then uh, it can be hard for them. So if they wake up call they got, that's what we see, right? If it's what makes them good again or if they actually really won't reach the level of all times. We see G2 getting the upper hand on Rogue, but perhaps Rogue looking for something here at the level one. Caps caught by an infected cleaver. Lady of the Moon King flash coming out as well. There's another cleaver. You say he's got a flash. He jumps across the wall, and that trades is. going back and forth. As we see more trades happening on the bot side of the map. Yeah, Trimby lands the hook here onto Mickey. Of course, you don't want to take extended trades into a Braum and Tristana because the top tier it. position in the last year or so yeah. in terms of LEC, but in playoffs. Actually, wait a second. No way. You're diving, Reckless. You're only level two. Reckless is not quite dead in the end. He does go down, but this is a double. <laughs> Reckless gets one. Mickey gets one. and Probably wasn't. But what Reckless loses as a result of this, I think is actually a really big deal. So, Trimby takes the initial tower aggro, as you would come to expect. He takes that first tower shot, but the damage from the two of them is huge. Then the ignite while Mickey is also just hitting him, and Reckless is hitting Reckless him. Reckless and Mickey get a free laning phase from this point on, then they don't actually lose too much out of it. Yankos looking for Larson in the mid lane. You can Kane see through onto the cannon minion too. Yankos is very committed to challenging this. But how do you do it without smite? What's Yankos going to do? He hits a Q. Inspired does still have flash and will secure it. Flashes away from Yankos. The chase is on now though. G2 looking for kills. Not for the objectives. Inspired down. Reckless gets the kill. Oh, that <laughs> blast cone timing was beautiful from Hans Summer. Advantage with Inspired on the way. And look at the supports. Pings are coming down because Mickey's already roaming up. But Trimby has changed his path. He was going bot. Immediately paths back up towards top the lane. lane here. Hans Summer catching a wave in the bottom lane. This is a 4v2 in favor of G2, but Reckless can't quite get close enough to get those auto attacks down. Trimbu with a good anchor toss gets himself. A lot of damage now coming down onto Wanda. Does have the ultimate up, but Inspired is around him along with Yankos. Both junglers continuing to match. Both going to be spotted on these control wards as well. Odoamne going in. There's the ultimate out from Wanda. Dominus popped. You Yankos stepping this. forward. As you say, G2 lose this. Spectral more stun immediately. The Moonfall doing a lot of damage though, and Yankos trying to trade onto Odoamne. Here's the TP. G2 going for it. Yankos diving in. Inspired already down, but the TP was stopped. Caps ate a shockwave from Larson, and so now Odoamne is left on his loan underneath the tower. Can Larson get away? It's TP himself. It's about to come back off cooldown. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, Trimby has to get away with a face call. Right, That's in that play, uh, being able to turn that one around. We're going to, once again, we're going to see back what we're talking about. So, Wanda's HP at this point is just too low, right? He gets chunked out. The regeneration is coming through from Odoamne. And look, Yankos is basically going to tickle Odoamne, and he's really not going to care, and then Inspired his full HP. So, Wanda can't do anything. And then Odoamne backs off. The TP oh. gets interrupted, and it, we have to go back to live. Glacial Fisher hits Trimby. Still has the flash to try and get away from this one. Mickey now perhaps a little bit overstepping, yeah. but... Um, you can see that Reckless has been able to close the gap in terms of CS. He is now uh, ahead in gold. Wonder is doing very well in the 1v1 in top lane, and now they're flashing in. Flashing for Mickey. Hans Summer's going to get locked up here. Really no place for him to go. Reckless jumping forward, gets the kill, and now the chase is on. Trimby's going to try and flash away, but the G2 players are unrelenting. Two quick kills once again. Remember, they kind of want Rogue to engage onto them. This is bad for Rogue. 
Caps is on his way. Larson not there, doesn't have a TP. Tower's already down. Mickey puts up the unbreakable, but Trimby gonna be left for the Wolves. Yankos diving in there. The Fates call comes out. Trimby's chucked back into the team, and now it's a 5v5 in the top lane. Trimby already down. That's Reckless's 2,000th kill in the LEC. The first player to ever hit that milestone. G2 will get the single kill and will walk their way out. Huge congratulations to Reckless. 2,000 kills here in the LEC is a massive achievement. Just goes to show how long he has been playing here in Europe. But it looks like that he is not done and he wants more. Odo oh, Amne trying to get away from Reckless here as he jumps forward. Mickey, not that much mana. Winter's bite. Just Ooh. a little bit. And hopefully he, alongside G2, can find their form again as he now finds the 1v1 against Han Summer. That call out in draft, he's going to answer with a solo kill and a classic happy B. Every time they've tried to look for things in the last few minutes, it has come back to bite them. Trimby with the hook away. Yanko's going in. There's the moon fall and. Uh, Still yet to beat G2 <laughs> in the regular season, and uh, this isn't looking close. Every time Mickey. you bring up that graphic, someone flashes. You have a power medic. Oh, here we go, another fight. All right, there's the Glacial Fisher. Goes between Inspired and Larson. TP coming in from Oda Wamnes. He's going to chase down Caps, but Yankos and Reckless are here. Oh, he lost the last split. Oh, hang on, hang on. Oh, he sidesteps him. They don't know. Oh, Trimby just walks straight into him. Death Charge coming out as well. Reckless won't be able to get the extra auto attacks down, but the Glacial Fisher means the Fates Call has to be used. I'll leave that to the lore experts, because I'm definitely not one of them. Caps now getting chased down a little bit by Odo Amne. And Yankos is on the Dragon. As you said, not much healing reduction coming out from Caps, and Odo Amne is flashing in, looking for the Heart Zapper. The Doctor will see you now, but in the end, Caps is able to get away. Odo Amne, the Shockwave won't be enough to save him. Yankos gets the kill. Ten and one on the scoreboard, and a 6,000 gold lead as Reckless jumps towards Larson. That's a lot of damage. Reckless is dominating, six and one. Uh, and now he's six, one and two, <laughs> and flashing after Larson. Uh, um, oh, and now he's killing Trimby, who's going to have to use that ultimate to get to safety. Knock up, oh, dead. Just, yeah. <laughs> that, was, that was not fair. Han Summer's heal was just too late. Odo Amne TP'd in behind them as well, as you can see. Rogue are looking for something, but I'm afraid they're not going to find too much apart from the waiting arms of Reckless. Another kill goes over to G2, and another and another as they just step forward into the base. The Shockwave hits. Reckless took no damage from that Shockwave. He's still full HP. To see G2 get out of... I mean, it's only one game, so we're not going to say they're totally out of whatever slump they've been in. Is a joy, at least for this single game. We'll see if they can continue this form through the rest of summer, because right now, they've killed off two members of Rogue. Yankos pops the stopwatch. There's the third to follow it up. Reckless with a triple. He's looking for more. Shockwave pulls him back. Larson not going to give Reckless his penta today. Another kill comes in as G2 are 18 and 1. Only Reckless has died. Not usual that you can say that in the G2 game. But Hans Summer, all the way back on the back of the fountain, does not want to give up his life today. G2 will take the Nexus, and they will demolish Rogue. A one-sided affair. G2 absolutely stopped Rogue in this game, and a fantastic performance from everyone across the board. The bot lane, of course, coming up clutch. Mickey having a great 